Hey everyone, so we are going to talk today about our next lab, which is our plant cell lab, and specifically we are going to be looking at onions. And the thing with onions is we're going to actually look at onions, it says in two different environments. So we're going to put um, some onion in fresh water, and we're going to put some onion in salt water. And the reasons why hopefully make a lot more sense after you can see what they look like underneath the microscope. But there's some prep work that we have to do to get ready for this. So uh, we're going to start off by taking our onion, right? So this is an onion. If you guys haven't seen how onions grow before, um, this part that we actually eat and use for eating grows under the ground. And there, so you can kind of see that there's like the roots on the bottom, the little hairs. Those are the part that are the roots that go into the ground. Um, and then there's usually a big tall stem that comes out of this part and that big tall stem is the part that we see um, above ground when those onions are growing. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this onion up and we'll make a video of me doing that and here's hoping that I don't accidentally cut my hand while I'm doing it because that would be really embarrassing to do on a video with a bunch of seventh graders watching. All right, so I'm just going to cut onion. I'm just going to cut it up into a few different pieces. Um, so um, we're going to take one half and put it into the salt water and the other half is going to go into the fresh water. Well, I can't remember. Then I probably messed up. Fresh, fresh water over here, salt water over here. Okay, so our onion is cut up. Um, so it all came from the same onion. So we're going to make sure that that's being consistent and the same across here. And so then the other thing that we need to do is we need to actually get the water ready. So I'm going to get a couple different beakers going. Okay. So we've got this one right here. And we've got this one right here. A little bit more, make it a little more even. All right, so we have our two beakers that we have going on right here. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're going to put salt in one of them. So I'm just going to take like normal salt that you would use in, in your kitchen. And I'm going to pour. Oh, it's all clumpy. Shake, shake, shake it first. And then we're going to pour a whole bunch of salt in here. Tons and tons of salt. It's coming out. Lots and lots of salt. We want there to be lots of salt. It's going to be really salty. Salty like the ocean lots of salt in there okay so now that we have some salt in there stir it up a little bit as well really make sure it's all getting dissolved in the water then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take some of my onion i'm gonna take my my half of the onion over here and i'm gonna put it in the salt water i'm gonna kind of break around well weird so the video cut out before so what I did, what I finished up, you guys saw me kind of put the salt in the water and cut up the onion. So the, all I did then was I took half of the onion and put it in this container with the salt water and the other half of the onion is in this container with the fresh water. So we're going to go ahead and let those sit for about 20 minutes and after those 20 minutes we're going to go ahead and get our microscope slides ready to see what those cells look like. All right, guys, so it's been about 20 minutes that our onion has been sitting in the water. So we're going to go ahead and make our slides now. We're going to start with our onion that was in the fresh water. We're going to start with that one. Um, so we'll just take a piece of that onion out. And the reason that we use onions for this lab is it's really easy and convenient to get some of the cells from this onion. So um, if you've ever had onion rings and had that kind of stringy part when you try to take a bite, that stringy part, that kind of skin on the inside of the onion is what we're going to use to look at these onion cells. And so the reason it works so well is that onion skin piece is so nice and thin that we can usually get it so that it's just one cell thick on our microscope slide. So I'm just placing that uh, onion skin on that microscope and kind of spreading it out, flattening it out a little bit trying to get rid of some of the, the air bubbles that are stuck on there because we want to make sure that we're looking at cells and, and not air bubbles. Okay, And there it is. So it's on our slide. 
Now, just like our cheek cells, though, these onion cells are transparent, so they're really, really difficult to see. So, just like our cheek cells, we're going to also stain these cells as well. So, we're going to use that iodine again. Remember iodine? We just use it as a stain. That's the only thing it's doing is it's coloring or kind of, you know, like painting these cells so that we can see them a little more clearly underneath the microscope. So I just put some of that iodine on here. We'll put a cover slip on there again just to make it nice and easy to see what's going on. All right, and there we go. I've got my onion cell freshwater slide ready to go ahead and, and find some cells. So I'm gonna follow this same process with the salt water onion cells um, to go ahead and find uh, the difference between those two. With our onion cells underneath the microscope, this is on low power. And if you guys look, every, every single one of these, what looks like bricks, is gonna be an onion cell. So you can kind of see that outside border of the onion cell and then that there are things that are tied up inside or that are not tied up that are found inside of it okay so we are going to be looking at these individual bricks so like i said this is on low power so we're going to go ahead and switch to medium power next okay and we're going to go ahead and try to get it focused in okay so there we have it on medium power so we are on our 10x lens right here and you can still see that we have these individual brick shapes that are here and this medium power is where we're going to look at our cells and we're really going to make some observations about the similarities and differences between onion cells in fresh water and onion cells in salt water so i'm just going to move it a little bit so that we can kind of have a cell that doesn't have any um, obstacles or kind of problems around it and I think this is going to be a really good one for us to use here you guys is going to be this onion cell right here this is going to be a really really good one all right Are onion cells that have been soaked in salt water that we're looking at now and again you can kind of see these different bricks that are all over the place but hopefully you can also see and notice that the insides are looking a little bit different or looking a little bit weird right and they're looking a little bit weird and the big difference between this cell and the cell that we looked at before was the fact that this cell was soaked in salt water okay so what we're actually seeing here is this outside border remember that's our cell wall that's the cell wall of this plant cell but when it was soaked in salt water remember salt kind of can dry things out if you think of yourself sitting down on the couch and eating like popcorn or chips or some sort of really salty snack you start to get really thirsty because salt dries things out and that's what it was doing to this cell here too, you guys, is when we put this cell in salt water, all of that salt on the outside of the cell started to pull water out of this cell, okay? And as water was being pulled out of this cell, you can actually start to see that the insides shrunk up a little bit. So this outside part right here, this is actually the cell membrane and all the stuff in the cell is starting to shrink together and it's separating away from the cell wall that's still out here because remember that cell wall is a really rigid strong structure so that cell wall is here but all of our inside pieces have shrunk up and moved away from that cell wall because that salt in the water pulled moisture out of this plant cell